Rescue. An eight year old student is accused of bringing a loaded gun onto a Seminole County school bus. The bus was on its way from Sanford to Geneva Elementary School when other students saw the weapon. West 2's Matt Grant is live outside the Seminole County Sheriff's Office. And Matt, do we know why the student brought the gun on the bus in the first place? Well, Brett, authorities say that the boy, an eight year old third grader at Geneva Elementary, never threatened anyone. He just brought it on the bus because he wanted to show his friends because he thought the gun was neat. I was just so worried. When I heard it, I just ran. I wanted to come get my kids out, and I don't even really know if I want to bring them back. Nicole Rodriguez's two kids were not on the bus when she got an email from the school telling her what happened. Um, I was just very nervous, and the first thing that came to my mind was just to come get them. It was just before 8 this morning when authorities say a bus monitor heard whispering coming from the back of the bus headed from Sanford to Geneva Elementary. The monitor saw a loaded 45 caliber handgun inside a holster in the boy's backpack. A call was made to 911, and the student was taken to the juvenile assessment center. The child was asked why he brought the the handgun uh, to school. He indicated that the handgun was his father's who had a concealed weapon and he wanted to bring it to school to simply show his friends because he thought it was neat. At a news conference, Seminole County Sheriff Chief Deputy Dennis Lima says the boy never threatened anyone. No threats to staff, no threats to cause harm at the school. Because of that, Lima says the boy will be released today and no charges will be filed against the eight-year-old. Between um, our experts, uh, experts at the state attorney's office, and, and the school board, we have to make a tough decision to determine what is best for the child. There were nine students on the bus at the time and all arrived at the school safely. Lima says the boy's parents are cooperating but did not rule out future charges against them for not properly concealing the gun. That's one of the things that our investigators are focusing in on right now. And the sheriff's office is using this as a reminder to keep your guns locked and secured. Because of this, they say they're going to be giving out free gun locks here at the sheriff's office. As for the eight year old boy, while he won't be facing criminal charges, he could be facing school discipline, including suspension or expulsion. We're live in Seminole County, Matt Grant, West 2 News.